Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so we got a really cool one here. This is a collab of Jessica Sanchez with Morissette Am Amon and their version of Stone Cold. That is a crazy song. Crazy hard to sing. Who sings that? Uh, Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah, that's right. And even Demi Lovato sometimes struggles with that song if her voice isn't 100%. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a very difficult song. Uh, whoever made that song, like whoever her composer was, or if she made it herself, like, guys, secretly evil. <laughs> that song is rough. No, it's, it's fantastic as a vocal showcase, though. Absolutely, like, absolutely. The fact that she can, she, she does it all, like, all the time, it's crazy. What it's, song? I think what's difficult about the song is the octave jump, you know, going from the lower mm -hmm. octave to belt at the top of your lungs. That's that's hard. Well, let's let's uh, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's let's listen to it. All right, so here we go. Clear raw video. Oh wow. Oh. American Idol. American Idol. Who, who is an American Idol? Ah, Morris that came out. What? No, no. So I think Jessica Sanchez was in American Idol, and then Asia's. So uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, it's okay. Morissette. Morissette, all together. All I'd love right, to know see. how Morissette broke through, though. Me too. Like, what's her career story? I th wasn't she a child? Actress or something like that. She was always involved in Disney. I know that, in in Philipp Disney Philippines and stuff like that. I think I think that's how it happened. Probably. I, I I think she was a child child actress, like a child child star. I think that is true, and I'm sure someone's commented when we first watched that. But uh, yeah. You it's forget. <laughs> yeah, it's just because we watched KZ yeah. for the first time the other day and stuff. Like, so it's like. Yeah, me too. It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, but I think I think that's how it happened. I think she was already involved in the industry. From well, that would be fun if you can find a really early video. I'm sure she would hate it. But, <laughs> but you know, it, it would be fun. Uh. Yeah. So Jessica Sanchez broke through in American Idol. That's crazy. Ooh, Morissette looks stunning in that suit. She rocks pantsuits. The both look pretty. Oh, she's gorgeous, Jessica. Is the piano live? I think so. Solid. Solid. Wow, she's... <laughs> That's good. That's a joke. Damn. Pause. She has such a, such an American, uh, uh, what do you call it? Twang to her yeah, voice. Yeah, uh, no, no, like, uh, yeah, like old power ballads, American power ballads. That's what She's it feels got like. a very uh, strong, alto, soulful voice. I don't know what that means. Basically, it's, you told me an algebra equation. It's just an, it is the register. She's right. not like Maury said, I feel like she's in a mezzo, mezzo soprano. So she, she naturally has a higher range. Uh, she sits naturally higher, um, yeah. and I think Jessica just because of how big her resonance is. I think she would, she would be a natural alto. You know, she like works better in resonant lower notes, notes, sure. which is a lie because everybody can stretch their range and and do crazy stuff like as like we've seen in the channel so many different times. So, well, so I'm, my, just muscles. So my range should be more Ferrari spaghetti. Kind of. Yeah, exactly that. You know? With a little bit of vibrato. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Strawberry sorbet. <laughs> but can you see she's a lot brighter? Yeah. You've explained to me the mezzos and the sopranos, but I don't, I don't think I've ever heard Alto, that one. Also, it's like the one that's that's what's hard about that song she 
Jesus Christ! Get out of here! <laughs> this is fucking insane! Wow. Tourist peculiar to see an, uh, a woman who's an alto. It's yeah. not the norm. No, no, no. That, that happens all, uh, uh, very often. Like, what what just... is the common denominator for female voices? Because uh... it seems masculine voices tend to be a bit deeper, don't they? So yeah. they'll be more alto. No. They... no? Basses and tenors. For male, oh, right. For male ranges, usually. Right. Which, which also... What happens in, in so there are many females that are that are um, altos? No, no, no. Naturally, uh, basses and tenors. Uh, women can if if you're. I'm a sure good, they can. I'm saying yeah, if, if you're if you're naturally an alto, right? You can train your muscles like every other muscle in your body to reach lower uh, lower notes and 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 create the same resonance. But very and rare for a guy to then be like naturally. It's also it's it's also hard. To be a woman that does a lot of, you know, basses or, or, or tenor and stuff. Alto is like in the middle? Alto is like the lowest range for a women, for a woman's natural voice. I see, right. Okay. And then mezzos sit right in between the middle. They can reach both quite easily. Right. And uh, sopranos are usually the ones that hit top, uh, top notes easier than a mezzo-soprano. Again, this are this is all Just by like, choir, by how you were trained in a choir, and in which parts which singers naturally will want to go to. Is it like sonata types, like uh, mesomorphs yeah. and the most ectomorphs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you so, want to put it, so into you're never physiology. just one. Absolutely, you're always a mix. And you can always train your body. No, you can't do that. No, no, no. no but not I'm with saying, sonata types, though. but in, in in singing, you can always train. To uh, reach, uh, expand your range. But I, I guess, I guess you could say the same as well with some other types. You could become an endomorph if you wanted to, to some extent. But you can't really change your 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 bone, bone structure. structure or. Well, same same as singing. Like you can't really like if you're a top soprano, you're never gonna be a brilliant bass singer. I see. I see. Okay, like okay, okay. you could reach some of the notes. If you are naturally a mesomorph, endomorph, you're very unlikely to be a high endurance athlete. So you're not gonna be a great marathon runner but you could train in it but you could be a good marathon runner exactly but someone who's naturally an ectomorph is gonna absolutely murder you absolutely right, see, see. same same with singing okay i it's love good. how i love how our analogies are so different well, it's sports <laughs> arts <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah 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 there you go holy crap <laughs> that's hard <laughs> Are they waving? Chicken hands. <laughs> Unicorns. Whoa. Okay. Wow. What the fuck is going on? That's insane. Oh, I got goosebumps all over oh, my yeah, body. Really <laughs> we love you, Morrison. Yes, we do. And, yes. and Jessica, holy crap. Both bosses. Wow. What's going on? <laughs> do, 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 do. That is joke. so hard. That is so. See what I mean about being a natural alto means nothing because you can train yourself to do that. Right, I see. It's more flexible in your vocal. Cords. Yeah, it's like it's like how 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 muscle maybe. Yeah, no, it's naturally where you sing it. It's okay. like naturally where where do you find yourself comfortably, without having to put any effort in, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it, you can train yourself to do whatever the hell you want to do. Yeah. I mean, actually, being a, an alto in a female singer, it, it's very, very useful. Um, because you can do a lot of the lower octave stuff, a lot of the lower range stuff, really easily. Because you find them yourself there really, really comfortably. 
But then you can also train yourself to be an amazing belter because you already have the natural grounding. And the harmonics. And the harmonics, yeah. But I feel like mezzo-sopranos are very, very good at harmonics because they have, they're, they're usually in the middle, so they're used to singing harmonies. Right, so they can do either. So they can do either, but they're, they're never going to be outstanding basses. Like, they're never going to be like, fat, fat. So but is, is it's why... hard, but it, listen, I've seen people do crazy stuff. Now, now I'm never going to put boundaries on what I think anymore. Like, if, if you can do everything, go for it. I mean, like, it's crazy. And I think the healthiest way to approach singing is don't put barriers on yourself. Like, oh, because that's the other thing. When you are trained in a choir, yeah. you kind of get put in this box of like, oh, if I'm a, if I'm a mezzo, I'm always going to be a mezzo. And uh, that becomes a mindset. Oh, I can't do top because I've never done top. Like, I've never been a soprano. And it, that, that becomes a bit of like a, a lim- mental limitation because you can obviously train yourself to be a, a, a soprano if you wanted to. So you can call them tops, mids and lows? Yeah, basically. Oh, that's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm or you yeah. get, but, it, but then you get like equalization, you call it mids, highs and lows as yeah. well, you could say the same? Yeah, but that's why they call them. No, I know, I know, but I'm sopranos, just... Sopranos, mezzos, and altos. Because that's just the translation of that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just classical singing training. Right, I see, I see. Well, I, I hope at least there's, I don't know, someone learns something like me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, I hope I'm being useful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that was so cool. I, I, I wish to see more of Jessica. She, she's fantastic. And obviously, more and more is said is always welcome in the channel.